द तंजावुर मराठा पैलेस कॉम्प्लेक्स नोन लोकली एज अर्मनाई इज द ऑफिशियल रेजिडेंस ऑफ द भोंसले फैमिली हु रूल्ड ओवर द तंजोर रीजन फ्रॉम 1674 टू 1855. ऑफन कॉल्ड एज द तंजावुर मराठा पैलेस वॉज नॉट एक्चुअली बिल्ट बाय मराठा किंग्स बट बाय तंजावुर नायक्स However the Marathas made enhancements to suit their needs A small garden has been developed at the place where the Krishna Vilas tank stood Tanjavur's royal palace is a mixed bag of ruin and renovation superb art and random royal paraphernalia The two dontimis sections are the Saraswati Mahal Library Museum and the Art Gallery Seven different sections of the palace can be visited and you will need three different tickets to see them all. On the ground floor of the palace, plenty of stone sculptures are placed all around. These sculptures range from 8th century AD to 18th century AD. Tanjavur, the capital city of Cholas, is a flourishing city from the 7th century CE. Tanjavur Palace is situated within the big fort complex. After the fall of Cholas in 1279 AD and a few centuries of Pandyan occupation, Sevappa Nayak captured Tanjavur and became the king in 1532. The Tanjavur Maratha Palace was originally constructed by the rulers of Tanjavur Nayak kingdom. The construction of Tanjavur Palace began in 1534 and was completed in 1535 thanks to plenty of local prisoners of war who provided manual labor. The palace was officially called Sivgangai Fort and was held by the Nayak family until April 1674 when the Maratha ruler Venkoji captured it. After the fall of the Tanjavur Nayak kingdom it served as the official residence of the tanjavur maratha the marathas enhanced the original structure and expanded the palace complex few artifacts paintings and coins which were collected or used by sarfoji too are displayed in this section of the palace The Tanjavur Palace is a huge complex that has many architectural features. The massive complex consists of huge halls, wide corridors, multi-storied observation towers and a shady courtyard. The State Department of Archaeology protects the important monuments in the palace complex such as Arsenal Tower, Bell Tower, Darbar Hall of the Marathas and Sadar Mahdi Tanjavur Palace with its architectural beauty reflects the Marathas and Nayak's patronage towards art and culture As you walk across you can see that some parts of the complex are in ruins while other parts show that restoration work has been taken up to revive and protect the monument Paintings in the Darbar Hall depict the scenes from epic Ramayana and stucco figures of gods and goddesses are well projected on the walls and ceiling. 